The composed message processor describes how to process a multi-part message where different parts of the message must be processed in different ways. To illustrate the composed message processor pattern, we consider the following scenario. A bookshop sets up a system for ordering books which is based on JMS message queues. Book orders are sent to the publisher on the orders queue and order acknowledgements are received on the order status queue. On the server side, the ordering system must be integrated with the ECMA Books web service. Recently, however, the bookshop has set up a department that specializes in school and university textbooks. For these textbook orders, the bookshop wants to deal directly with the specialist publisher, School Press. The integration must now be implemented such that textbook orders go directly to the School Press web service and all other orders go to the ECMA Books web service. The following diagram shows an outline of the camel route that implements the required integration. After the bookshop pushes a message onto the orders queue, the route pulls the message from the queue and a splitter breaks the message into a sequence of individual orders. A content-based router then separates the order parts into two streams, one order stream for textbook orders and another order stream for all other orders. In the first stream, each textbook order is transformed into a request, routed to the school press web service and then transformed into an order status message. In the second stream, each order is transformed into a request, routed to the ECMA Books web service and then transformed into an order status message. Finally, the order status messages are aggregated into a single reply and pushed onto the order status queue. Now, let's take a look at a camel route that implements this scenario. First of all, we create an embedded instance of an ActiveMQ broker, which provides the JMS messaging system for this example. We also need to customize the ActiveMQ component so that it connects to this local embedded broker instance. We create two CXF client endpoints, one for the ECMA Books web service, identified by the ID ECMA-Books, and another for the School Press web service, identified by the ID School-Press. We are now ready to define the route for this scenario. The initial endpoint of the route consumes messages from the book.orders queue. Let's take a quick look at the format of a typical batched order message. The orders element contains a list of book orders where each book order is represented by an order element. An ISBN number uniquely identifies each book. Returning to the route, we see that the first processing step is to split the list of orders into a sequence of individual orders. The strategy ref attribute references the aggregation strategy which combines the message parts into a single reply at the end of the splitter pattern. The first child element of split is an XPath expression that picks out each order node of the original message. We use an XPath expression to pick out the ISBN number from the book order and then stash this value in the ISBN header. The ISBN number provides the basis for deciding whether to send the order to the school press web service or to the ECMA book web service. The choice command routes the order to the appropriate web service. If the ISBN number starts with the pattern 11, 22, 33, the order is destined for the school press, otherwise the order is sent to ECMA books. If the order flows to the school press web service, the methods place shop order and get order status are invoked. If the order flows to the ECMA books web service, the order book method is invoked. At the end of the split command, the order status messages are recombined into a single reply by the splitter's built-in aggregator. We then use a transform to enclose the aggregated replies in the single order status element, which represents the compound reply. In the last step of the route, we push the transformed reply onto the book.orderStatusJMS queue, which completes the integration. To get an idea of what is required to invoke a web service, however, let's go back and take a closer look at the place shop order subroute. Before we can invoke the place shop order method, we need to construct a place shop order request message using the data from the order. 
The first part of the subroute extracts the title and author values from the order and stashes them in the headers of the same name. Notice how we use the message headers as a temporary holding area for data extracted from the current message. This is a common trick used in camel routes. After converting the order note to a string, we send the shop order to a velocity script that reformats the message body as a web service request. Let's have a look at the velocity script in the place shop order request.vm file. The velocity script has the format of a place shop order sort request body. The book details in this message are substituted using the values from the author, ISBN, and title headers. Returning to the subroute, we are now ready to send the request to the web service using the in-out command. The cxf colon bean colon school hyphen press URI references the school hyphen press cxf client endpoint. In addition, we specify the data format equals payload option on the URI, which provides access to the request and reply messages in XML format. After receiving the reply from the web service, we use the transform command to extract the return element from the reply message. We are now ready to run the route. Right-click on the compose.xml file and select Run as Local Camel Context. Switch to the Fuse perspective and wait for the application to finish starting up. Connect to the running instance using the JMX Explorer. This enables us to view the active and queue endpoints and the route. To start processing, drag a sample message from the file system onto the book.orders queue. We can now view the resulting reply message by selecting the book.order status queue and looking at the messages view. The original compound order has been processed and recombined into a compound reply, which details the status of each order part.